But Charles, I don't understand you anymore. Why did he get too distant from me? Oh Cecil, you're the one who keeps making me tired all day long. I am starting to get tired of supporting you on a daily basis. Without lying you I can't put up your whims anymore. Yes Cecile, you don't even know how to take care of a man properly and you don't even know how to cook properly. How do you want me to be proud of you? All the time? It's the same thing and I'm tired of eating only pasta at home. All you know how to do is put a ton of makeup on your face to look beautiful. Don't you have confidence in yourself? Do you really need to do all of this before you seduce me? For me, what I want first of all is your behavior and character. The rest, I don't care a bit and honestly, I can't find what I'm looking for in you. Frankly, I can't take it anymore. Let me also tell you that I am not at all used to your prayer life all the time. Every time it's the prayer at home. When you eat you pray in the morning you pray, you pray in the evening. I am not used to this lifestyle at all. I am just a non-practicing Christian. I had never set foot in a church before I knowing you. I just want to enjoy my life here and I'll see the rest when I'm on the other side. I am telling you. At the same time, I would not even like to dwell only on you. I would like to do exactly like King Solomon, that is to say marry several women at the same time. Why hadn't he said all these things to me before? Don't you know that with time I could correct my bad habits? Honestly, I am disappointed in you. How can you tell me that you want to live like King Solomon? Don't you know that we're no longer in the old alliance? Didn't the Bible say in the New Covenant that a man will leave his father and mother and cling to his wife and that the two will form one flesh? Or you are disappointing me, because I am realizing that I have been deceived. I would never allow polygamy in this house. The day you do for me, that means whether you will lose me permanently or not. Remember that you have to be submissive and that you can't divorce me anymore. Well, I've talked enough now I'm off to see a friend goodbye. Oh Lord Jesus, where could I have picked up this man? Do that's the way he was. Why? Did I even rush to marry him? What had really caused me to do that? My pastor refused me that, but I did not listen to him. My mother also advised me not to do that. But I didn't listen to it either. But here I am today, with a man who is angry and unpleasant in his words, he only know how tea to reproach me. He never compliments me for everything I do to him on a daily basis. That's the way it is. He thanks me now. Frankly, I am too disgusted with him and I don't even want to continue this relationship anymore. I am very sorry that I made this choice. I have to go see my pastor to explain to him what is currently happening to me in my household. I hope that he will understand me and that he will help me find a solution. <laughs> Were you not recently married to another woman? Of course. But I realized that it was a mistake that I made. Oh my chick, you are the chosen one of my heart. You are my sunshine. My morning coffee. You're my alaka at noon and my garb at night. It is with you that I want to build my life. Okay, I believe you. It is essential that I go see my pastor quickly because I can no longer bear such a man in my life. But why did Cecil absolutely want to see me today? What else does she have to say to me? I hope that everything is going well in my daughter's home. I will try to call her later to get a little news about her. Cecile, you seem upset. What is wrong with you? I made a terrible mistake. I married that man, but now I deeply regret that decision. I did not listen to my conscience and ignored the warning signs. Wasn't it refusing not to engage in this relationship with this gentleman? These are the consequences of the rush today. Instead of being patient and recommending your marriage in the hands of the Eternal, you prefer to run to get married. I absolutely admit my fault. Pastor, but you should know that I was deeply in love with my husband to the point where I didn't want to understand anything anyone was saying to me. Frankly, I could never imagine that this marriage would turn against me overnight. Really forgive me for not having to listen to you before committing myself to this man. Instead, ask your Creator for forgiveness. But you know, God can always do great things, even in the most difficult of times. Have you tried to pray and recommend your marriage to the Lord? Yes, I prayed, but I still feel lost. 
I am worried about my future and I don't know how to fix this situation. You know, Cecile, we all make mistakes. But it's in these moments that we can learn and grow. God is a God of grace and mercy, and He can give you the wisdom and strength you need to overcome this trial. Okay, Pastor, but what can I do now? I feel so stuck. Start by praying and asking God for guidance, and He can help you make the right decisions for your future. Sometimes that means being honest with yourself and others, no matter how hard it is. God is there to support you, to really pray for your husband. Finally, may God bring him back to order and let him be freed from polygamy. Okay, thank you Pastor for all your advice, I will put them into practice from now. Perfect Cecile. May the Lord help you and restore your relationship. Amen. Pastor. I feel a bit relieved. Now, now, I can go home to see my husband. Wow, your new house is so pretty. Oh, thank you my chick. I would arrange for you to visit me here from time to time. That would make me very happy. I'm going to miss you a lot, you know. Yes, you too. Wow, what do I see like that? My husband with another woman. It's not possible. How can he already start by deceiving me? Honestly, I don't even want to set foot in this house anymore. Okay, happy afternoon, Arcade. Thank you so much. Good evening to you, too. Incredible. It is really terrible what I had just seen. I will tell my mom what I have just seen so that she could support me in this ordeal that I am going through. Thank you Mr. Taxi Driver to have accepted to bring me to my mother. A young woman. I'm just doing my job. But why hasn't my wife arrived yet? Since then, I certainly hope she hadn't seen me and my girlfriend. As I said, Mom, that's a bit of what was going on in my house. Oh my daughter. I am so sad for you. But you know, I can never advise you to divorce. The only thing I can advise you is to keep praying for your husband so that he can change one day. And yes my daughter, otherwise if you get divorced, know that you will no longer be able to remarry. Unless in the meantime your husband leaves this world before you. And I don't think you're going to want to stay single for the rest of your life. That is why I urge you, my daughter, to return to your home. Let us truly implore God's mercy and grace upon your husband so that he can truly change. And yes, my daughter, it was for all these reasons that I warn you not to rush into marriage quickly. But mom, I didn't know about any of this. When I got married. My daughter, I told you that anyway, but at the time, you turned a deaf ear and did not listen to me. So today you were married. Now, this man and you are already one in the same flesh and there is no proof after his separation that you would find another gentleman who is better than him. Either you divorce and you will remain single for life or you return to your home and try to make things better. Okay mom, I got your message. The best thing is that I go home and have a chat with my husband. That's exactly it. My darling daughter. May the Lord accompany you and assist you in your home. Thank you so much, Mom. These are the consequences of haste. Unfortunately, today's generation has run out of patience. You want to have everything, right away without making any effort. May God help this generation. I really pray that the home of this girl, Cecile, will be restored and that the Lord touch her husband's heart. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. With everything we just said to each other, can you reassure me that you still love me? Well, yes, Cecil, I always carry you in my heart. You know, I need to tell you about an internal struggle that I go through every day. You know, since we were married, I have always felt temptations and thoughts that make me consider the possibility of having multiple wives. This deeply disturbs me because I know that it goes against biblical principles, commitment, and faithfulness. I'm sorry to hear that, Arcade. 
But remember that God is always there to help you resist temptations and find the path to fidelity. Have you tried praying and seeking spiritual advice about this? Because I was very surprised the day you told me that you wanted to have a lot of women like King Solomon. Yes, I prayed about this in the past, but these thoughts are still lingering in my head. I feel like I can't control my desires and that fills me with guilt. You know, Arcade, we all face temptations. But it is in these moments that we must turn to God and seek His strength to resist. Communication and honesty are essential in our relationship. Why not talk to my pastor about it? He has profound wisdom and could help you find the peace and direction you need. I think you're absolutely right, my wee fool. I should make an appointment with him. I need to fight these temptations and regain my strong relationship that I had with God before and with you. That's exactly it. Arcade, I know that the Lord has a plan for your life. Okay, thank you so much for understanding me and for not having systematically sought to divorce me. I feel that with you that I will change and that nothing would be the same as before. Amen. As I was telling you, this is a bit of what is happening in our relationship right now. I am very tempted to go look for other girls outside and to tell the truth, I have never had a real intimate relationship with the Lord. Okay, I get that you're going through a tough time right now. But you know, temptation is a fight that we all have to face. But we can defeat it with God's help. The key is to renew your relationship with God and to remind yourself of the main fundamentals of love and commitment in marriage. Okay Pastor, but how can I overcome these temptations? Because sincerely, deep down inside, I want to be faithful to Cecil. But his thoughts still persist. You know, my friend, the first step is to dedicate yourself to God and ask him to give you strength to resist his temptations. Then, it is important to open communication with your wife share struggles and fears with her, and work together to strengthen your relationship and cultivate love and understanding. Thank you very much, Pastor. I will pray and ask God to help me overcome these temptations, and I will talk to my wife to strengthen our relationship. Perfect. May the Lord assist and encourage you in this new resolution that you have just made. Okay, Pastor. Cecile, I want to thank you for your loving patience. Thanks to God and our commitment to resisting temptations, we strengthened our relationship and regained joy in our marriage. You know, I am so proud of you and thankful to God for the transformation that we have experienced together. Our love and fidelity have been tested. But we have found the strength to remain united through our faith in God. That's exactly it, Cecile. I really bless the Lord for having met you in my life because you have really changed my life. Thanks to you, I don't even dream of being a polygamist anymore. The impure thoughts that once tormented me have all left me and I feel so good about myself. That all the glory will be given to our wonderful Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, before rushing into marriage, Take time to get to know each other and build a strong relationship. Assess your compatibility in different aspects of life and make sure you are emotionally ready. Listen to your instincts and don't get it wrong. If you have profound doubts, if possible, ask God, through signs, to show you if it is the right partner for you. Moreover, do not succumb to social pressures. Making an informed decision based on a solid foundation will foster a successful marriage. God bless you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.